Hi, I'm Chip, also known as Parallax Visuals. Um, I recently got a 5D Mark II from Gumtree, from this amazing guy. It was a bargain, I paid 500 for it, so that's cool, I guess. But it has two problems. The first problem was that it has a pink spot on the sensor, so when you take pictures with it or film with it, you can see the pink spot. It's like tiny, you can remove it, that's, you know, that's not, not much of a problem. The second problem that the guy didn't tell me about, and I discovered it when I wanted to install the Technicolor plugin on the Canon, which is amazing, I'm filming with it now, it changes Canon, like, it increases the dynamic range of it, it's really nice, I recommend you go install it on your DSLR and use it, I'll put a link in the description. Right, Canon 5D is this one, obviously I have to dismantle it because I want to fix the USB thing, right? <coughs> I'll show you in a minute. This is the motherboard. Let's focus on it. The thing, the problem is here. This should have been a USB port. And this is the actual plug. The issue is the guy literally dropped the camera or something and it snapped the USB port and all these connectors here snapped from the motherboard so I have to like recreate it. It's like on a micro scale look at my finger and look at this so it's like I don't know if you can see this Yeah, so it's like on a micro scale. So now I have a soldering iron, but obviously it's too big, it's a giant for this. So I need to get a file, file down my soldering iron tip, and hopefully, with the use of a brilliant macro lens, this one, it's my baby's lens. Thank you, B. Uh, I'm gonna fix this camera and hopefully use it in the future. <sighs> okay, might I mention that I didn't get the camera for me, I got it for my girlfriend uh, because she's a photographer and she's amazing. But of course I'm gonna be using it uh, until I get my black magic. Maybe in this lifetime, I don't know. This is actually the camera in pieces. Some screws, body of it, motherboard. And me. And Mimi, of course. I'm still flying here. Say hi, Mimi. Yeah. Right, so I got the file set. It's this thing right here. Really expensive. <laughs> £2.50. Let's hope this stuff works. Ah, by the way, the tunes in the background are courtesy of this radio. It's an amazing deep techno radio. It's called Deep Mix. I'll have the link in the description for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial or whatever it is. The setup I made is this one. I'll show you in a minute. So, um,. I've got my DSLR, I've got my 60D here with the 100mm macro, where does it say, you know, it's connected to, through USB to my laptop and this is deep mix by the way and for me to be able to see this stuff I connected my laptop to my uh, TV. Hopefully, I'm gonna. I can zoom. I can't zoom while recording. But anyway, I can see it right now. So I managed to get my cell phone working again. Just to show you, show you again the scale of this thing. This is the needle. That's the magnified image. This is the same needle. So. 
can see how tiny this shit is. Beauty of this thing is you can actually see the connector was here and then it was here connected to this. Third one was here, fourth one is not connected. That gave me a bit of scare. And the fifth one is this one. Why do you want to do this? You ask. Because this Canon streaming functionality that works with my visuals and also Paulina uses uh, this brilliant software called Capture One which you don't have to really have a card in a camera to have a professional photo shoot so you never run out of space blah 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 it streams the photos straight through the USB into your laptop this is the old software here ah I don't have it anyway capture one it will be a link in the description right that's my soldering iron tip this is the file let the process begin let's see that's one cable connected by the way, to fix this, I sacrificed a, a really cheap old Chinese USB extender. So, here. That's two connected now. That's the third one in. Fourth one in. Woo! Ah, now for the camera side. Right, so what I did was... Because the motherboard is so damaged, I had to like stick this here into the cap thingy. It's a little bit coming out, but that doesn't bother me. Plus it stays fixed, so it prevents it from getting damaged the next time. So I'm just gonna take some Uhu glue put it around this one so it stays here and then I'm gonna connect it to the motherboard hopefully all will be good let's move the sun a little bit okay one the first cable connected on the motherboard three more to go <laughs> second cable on the motherboard on it's like been half an hour like literally Third wire on. Those units to Going to the last one. Area. 